Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to do the second half of my Watt Solds for the week of September 24th through the 26th. I'm, I'm behind. I have been so busy and then I was sick and I just didn't feel like doing much. So I'm getting back on track. But um, it... That weekend, I messed up. I'm not sure how it all works as far as when you do stuff, but I had this idea that I would take my oldest 2,000 listings, I have 8,000, and put them on promoted listings at 10%. And I did that, and then I had no sales for like 12 hours. You know, I've read somewhere when you do stuff like that, there's a delay, and I don't know. But after 12, like 12 hours, I went ahead and I ended all of my promoted listings and reset them up at 3%. And soon afterwards, things started picking up again. But this was like Thursday night or Friday, and my sales were horrible for the weekend. So, lesson learned. Don't mess with that stuff. So, if you're new to my channel, um, I have been selling on eBay for 22 years. Most of that's been full-time. And currently, as of this year, eBay is our primary income. We've done other things that I'm going to talk about. Somebody had asked, you know, why we quit selling on Amazon. So, I am going to, at some point, talk about that. Um, but I, like I said before, I have about 8,000 listings right now. I would say probably 5,000 of it is stuffed animals and like loveys and baby blankets and stuff like that. It is my thing, although we have ventured out into other things this past year, clothing being the newest thing. And then, you know, I, I do buy some hard goods and shoes and stuff like that but always always stuffed animals will be my thing and it's specifically vintage stuffed animals so here are some of the things that sold and like i said it's going to be short list but i'm going to take this opportunity also to talk about why i sell things at eight dollars and how i make a profit on that so Again, just a reminder to those of you that might be new to my channel, I do not do free shipping on anything. If it's under a pound, I do flat rate shipping. If it's over a pound, I do um, calculated shipping, except for clothes, and I do do the flat rate um, padded priority shipping for them with a set amount. So, all right, this first thing I sold, I bought these at an estate sale a couple weeks ago. I paid $5 for this pair and another pair. I've already sold the other pair. It was for like $40. And then I took a best offer on this one for $18.50. This is a Jimmy Frosty the Snowman plush. He was still attached to the, the base, um, a cardboard like base. And I, I didn't take him apart so I did put in the listing that he's untested I haven't heard back from the seller if there were any issues so I'm thinking you know everything was fine with it um, and I did take a best offer of $26 on him I always say this uh, most of the things that I buy are like a dollar or less um, as far as like the stuffed animals and stuff but once in a while I do pay more but I buy so much I can't always remember so I'm not quite sure how much I paid for him. Probably two or three dollars or less. This is just an example. This is a Whitman sealed puzzle. We went to like a local little thrift store here. And um, I think she was going out of business. And she had a ton of these older puzzles that were not um, opened. And I, I want to say... We paid, spent like $20 and got just a huge stack of them. Um, they have been slow sellers for me. 
but I did end up selling um, this puzzle for the $10.07 plus shipping. These are some Lee Riders women's jeans that we sold. I did, um, a lot of these were paying $2 or less for the jeans, unless it's something more um, higher brand. But for the most part, $2 or less. I mean, sometimes we pay a quarter for jeans. But I ended up selling these Lees for best offer of $15. This is a outfit that was on a teddy bear. But the teddy bear was damaged, so I went ahead and took all of the outfit off. And it was these, it had golf clubs and glasses. It was a very cute outfit. Um, so, but it did have some, uh, some stains that I did mention. And it took a little while, but I ended up selling it for the $22.95. This is a Knickerbocker Ziggy doll. Um, he was 12 inches. He's not the normal little one. He was 12 inches, and I ended up selling him for $16.75. These are some brass cranes. I did clean up a whole bunch that had kind of been sitting down here because they were just dusty, and I listed a whole bunch this past week, and I sold this one almost immediately for best offer of $21. I have a cheat sheet right here that tells me exactly how much I sold it for. This was from our high bid online auction. This is another item that sold. This is, a lot of it was advertising. This was a plush duck that was from Homewood Suites. I'm guessing that's a, ho a hotel of some type. Never heard of it. But I ended up selling it for best offer of $12. This is a Scholastics Brown Bear plush. I couldn't get Google Lens to tell me what book it went to, so I just left it at that. Um, I swear, I sell a lot of these type stuffed animals to librarians. I think they buy them to put them with the books that it goes with. But I ended up selling the school bear for, um, the Scholastics bear for $18.35. This next purchase was my first viewer purchase. Um, this um, viewer, Colleen, bought this from me and she sent me a really nice message about the background of why she was buying this. And Colleen, I truly hope that your mom enjoys this. But this is um, a Aurora Beagle dog and she did buy it at the price, the $11.91. This was my big sell for the, the weekend. I picked, this is a Boy Electric Yarn Ball Winder. I tested it. The little thing just kind of goes up and down, and I guess it rewound balls of yarn. I paid $5 for this at a little um, campground yard sale we went to a couple of weeks ago, and I ended up selling it for the $91.95. This is the last, I had three of these, and they took forever, and then all of three of them have sold recently. But this is a Disney Conservation Leopard plush, or Jaguar, I can't tell the difference. But I ended up selling the Leopard for best offer of $11. This is a Field Masters men's flannel shirt that we um, picked up along the way and I ended up selling it for the $19.03. Again, we are only paying one and two dollars for a lot of this stuff. So it's been a nice added income source for us. But you can see they're piling up. This is stuff that we're waiting just to get pictures on already. I've already done the measurements. We just gotta find the time to do pictures. Um, this next item is a dandy horse plush. Um, I ended up selling it for best offer of $16. And then this was from my hybrid auction also. I was surprised. He was kind of like at the bottom of the bag. I hadn't got to him yet. And then I pulled him out and um, did a comp on him. And I was surprised that they sell so high. He's just a little four inch Mr. Bubble figure. 
and I ended up selling him for the $18.35. This too, I believe, was for my high bid auction. I'm going to try to get another video done today on two more bags, and then I think I'm down to four bags and boxes. But this is Russ Lucy plush, and I ended up selling her for the $18.35. It's funny, today I got feedback on this, and I've told you guys this before. I have started packing all of my stuffed animals into um, those self-sealing bags, and the person was very thrilled that their bag, their, their toy came in a sealed bag and clean. So, I think I'm going to keep up. I was using our leftovers from when we were selling stuff on Amazon. But I think I'm going to just keep doing it. It's just very convenient. Put them in, seal them. They have the suffocation warning on them. And then when I'm ready to ship, I just slide them in boxes or bags. This is from Wish Pets. It's one of those brands I pick up, but I don't... They, they take a while to sell. And they're not high dollar items. But again, I'm about providing plush that somebody's probably had in their past and they're looking for it again as a replacement. So I think that's why um, some people might not sell as many as I do and at the dollar amounts that I do, but I'm okay with this. But I ended up selling this Ursula plush for the $11.91. This I featured recently in a haul. Um, this is Little Darlings. Um, she was... Um, like a terry cloth, terry cloth doll, 14 inches by Well Made Toys. And there was a time when I used to see these all the time, and I just thought they were dollar store type toys, and I didn't pick them up. Well, I have learned. This is probably my second or third one that I've picked up, and they sell very quickly. And I did end up selling her for $18.35. All right, this also was from my Hybrid Online auction. I've guesstimated, because I never to count everything, I'm sure we got somewhere probably 1,000 to 1,500 items, and I only spent like $591, so I'm thinking like 30 to 50 cents, somewhere in there for everything, and probably less than that because I've got boxes and boxes of just little, little toys. So, um, very, very good sourcing opportunity we had there. But this is from Harcourt, which is like the curriculum that they use in school in public schools and I ended up selling the walrus for the $13.75. Now I, I didn't have any grand Facebook sales. It has gotten very slow. I'm not quite sure what's up with them, but I also am not taking as much time because I'm so backlogged with um, getting my stuff listed on eBay. I've just not been cross-listing like I should. Um, I need to find time for that too because it is fourth quarter. It's time. But I did sell something on Bonanza. It's a small sale. I sold this little tiny um, sheep plush um, that when you squeeze it, it, it hugs onto stuff. Sold it for $7.15. Okay, so these next couple of screens... Um, I had a viewer who asked, how do you make money selling stuff for $8? And I'm not quite sure if she didn't realize that I don't do free shipping. Because, yeah, it would be tough if you were selling something for $8 and doing free shipping. But I don't do free shipping. So, these I picked an item that I actually sold this past weekend that sold for exactly $8. So, let me scooch to that one. All right. So, this was a Kelly toy my first bear clip-on plush. Um, I did sell it for $8, and I did charge shipping of $5.25 because it was going to go in a box because of the ring, but it was also on its card still. So this next screen, well, let's first, why? Why do I sell things for $8? There's several reasons. First one being, sometimes I just buy stuff that, you know, I thought would sell for more, and it doesn't. I wouldn't call it a bad buy, because most things that I buy, especially that I'm going to end up selling at the $8 range, I probably have 
a dollar or less in. But also sometimes I buy bundles of stuff. When you go to the Goodwill bins, you're just buying, buying, buying. I buy lots of littles there. Um, sometimes I'm going to put them into lots. Sometimes I buy something that I know I'm going to end up putting it in a lot. But it's easier for me to find something in my inventory system than it is for me to find it in my unlisted stuff. So at times, there's th times that I will list something less than $8.00 but I know eventually I'm going to find something to put with it. Sometimes I'm lucky and it sells before I find the thing that goes with it and that's fine too because I've always said this, every dollar counts when this is your primary income. Sometimes I go to a yard sale and there's a box of something, like the Boyd's Bears, I think I showed that once before, where there were a few things in there that I wanted, but either they were selling the whole box or I just said, how much for all of it? And I do that. And then there's things in there that aren't things that I would normally sell. But I go ahead and list them because I've got them already. I've spent the money. I'm going to make the profit. I might as well make a little more. Um, and use, and, But also, even if I've spent a dollar or less, why not buy something that you can list for $8 or so? You know, I always hear other people talking about they won't buy anything unless they can you know make three times their profit well if I pay 50 cents for something and I sell it for eight dollars I've definitely you know made my profit on it 16 times 16 times <laughs> he's very quick with math me not so much so that's some of the reasons why and I, I, and I tell you guys this in my videos all the time I like selling stuff in the eight to twelve dollar range. You prefer the forty and the hundred dollar range. Yes, yes. But and I've said this before, and I, I I tell this to people all the time. It is far easier for me to find fifty things that I'm going to sell for eight dollars than it is for me to find one thing that I'm going to sell at fifty dollars. It's just the way it is. You know, you you know, I love when I find something that I'm going to sell for fifty or a hundred or 150 or the Boyd's Bear calendar that I sold for 500 you know? But those are few and far between. And this $8 to $12 stuff pays my bills. My husband is a computer nerd. So sometimes when we start having discussions about things, he... Sometimes not so friendly discussions. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go in and try to get statistics for me. So what he did is he... I use GoDaddy Bookkeeping to keep up with all of my stuff for tax purposes. So he went into GoDaddy and pulled down all my sales for this current year. Um, that And it did not include my shipping income. These are just things I sold straight out. Um, for you, for your, your sales price. Right. Not including shipping. So, let's see. And your shipping covers... Oh. What you charge for shipping covers your shipping fees and the fees on shipping and your packaging and materials. Right. Not all of it, but Not it covers all of it. a lot of it. But a lot of times, you know, I, I've told you guys I charge flat rate, especially for my things under a pound. And there's a little bit of a cushion in there because you all know we pay eBay fees on our shipping, our taxes, all of that. So that gives me a good cushion to cover most of those fees and maybe a little bit of the packaging materials that I buy. He downloaded the statistics for me on what I've sold this past year based on price, not shipping. Um, so the first, my $7.99 or less, I have sold 1,192 items for six dollars no sixty seven hundred dollars eight to eight ninety nine I've sold three hundred and ninety eight items for thirty three hundred dollars so just my eight ninety nine or less is about ten thousand dollars in sales which is my mortgage think of it that way that's my mortgage for the year so and that's just eight ninety nine or less so those people who might not want to consider selling some of this lower stuff, 
it all adds up and this is proof in general like nine dollars to 9.99 i sold 331 items not a big category for me 10 to 19.99 i sold almost 1400 items 20 to 29.99 400 a little over 400 items 30 to 39.99 163 items you see the numbers are getting smaller because it's harder to find the big dollar stuff 40 to 49.99 i sold 65 items 50 to 59.99 no 50 to 99.99 i sold 78 items and over a hundred dollars i sold 24 items so a majority of my sales are in that $9.99 and less category. This is why I like the $8 to $12. It's easy. It's I get it for a dollar or less usually. And I find tons of it. Tons. So let me show you the breakdown, though, of this particular item I sold. So I'm going to show you the next screen. This is the fee breakdown. And I just went into the all transactions and I found this item. Well, anyway, the shipping, like I said, I charged $5.25. And the actual shipping, I think once I got it boxed, it still ended up being under 8 ounces. So my actual shipping was $3.51. Now I do have 3% Final value, uh, no, 3% promoted listings on all of my items. And I'm telling you, probably 75% of my items sell under that. It's just, you know, and I'm, I'm good with that. So I did get a 24 cent fee for the 3% promoted listings. And then the item sold with shipping was $13.25. But there were taxes also, and I'll show you that on the other screen. So those fees were $1.81, and so I netted $11.44, but let me show you the next screen. Now I broke it down even more. With um, taxes, this order was $14.31 that the customer paid. My final value fees, which is 11.7%, ended up actually being $1.68. But because I, ha I get that um, final value fee credit because I'm top rated seller, they gave me a credit of 17 cents. So I paid $1.51 in fees plus the 30, per 30 cents that they charge all of us for processing. So my fees were $1.81. My net order, my net proceeds was $11.44. If I take away the shipping, the $3.51, and the 24 cent promoted listing fees, I made $7.69 on this item. Probably something I paid a dollar or less on. And I'm fine with that. You know, do I want to make a whole lot of sales like this? You know, I would love to make the $12 and the $20 and the $50. But this is a majority of my sales. And... I'm okay with that. It pays my mortgage. It pays my bills. It allows us to stay home and homeschool kids and, you know, travel when we want, do the things we want. And I get to spend all my time with my honey 24 7. <laughs> Unless I can escape. <laughs> all right. So I hope that helps people understand. Why, it's, it's okay to sell some of the lower stuff. You know, right now, I would say a majority of the things I'm listing are $20 and higher, especially from this high bid stuff. But I'm okay when I can get a whole bunch of stuff cheap to sell stuff in this range. Okay, I think that's all I needed to say. I hope this helps the person who was wondering why I sell stuff for $8. And, you know, thanks again for all your comments. Bye.